guys welcome to input output campus so today we will discuss about a coding question for your placement and this is a array type question and the problem is richest customer wealth so first read the problem you are given an m cross n integer grid accounts where the accounts ij is the amount of money so this is the input accounts and it is given in m cross n integer grid the ith customer has the jth bank so the ith customer has the jth bank means so this is customer 1 this is customer 2 and this is customer 3 okay and the customer 1 has two bank this is the first bank and this is the second bank and customer 2 also has two banks and customer 3 also has two banks return the oil that the richest customer has a customer's oil is the amount of money they have in all their bank accounts so you can see this is the this is the money that the customer one has in its first bank and in his second bank okay so the customer one has total number of wealth is the sum of these two bank balance okay the richest customer is the customer that has the maximum wealth so we have to calculate the richest customer that is the maximum wealth and we have to return the money that is total money so you can see here the first customer has accounts in two banks and his total wealth is one plus five which is six okay this is the total amount of first customer and the second customer has seven plus three which is ten his total amount is ten and the third customer has three plus five that is 8 so third customer has total amount as 8 so among these three customer the second customer has the highest amount so the second customer is the richest among these three customer so we have to return his total amount so his total amount is 10 and we have to return this as output okay now we will write the code for this problem using the vector concept so if you want to learn more about vector then please watch my vector video and the link of that video will be in the video description so after watching the vector video you will feel more comfortable about the vector so let's solve it using vector so first of all write the basic format of the c++ that is as include bits slash standard c++ dot h using namespace standard first write the main function here and inside this main function we'll write a vector inside this we'll write another vector and its data type is integer now write the name of the vector and the name of the vector is suppose accounts and inside this we'll write all the data so 157335 so right here 15 and then 73 and then 35 okay 35 now let's write a function where it will do all the operations so the name of the function is max wealth and inside this function we will pass this vector that is accounts ok so we will write the same function here and the return type will be integer because it will return an integer value so int max wealth and inside this we will write this same thing that is we will write this same thing here and here will be ampersand because the address of this vector will be passed to here ok now inside this first we will write the result suppose the result is 0 ok so this is the initial result and this is 0 now we'll write a for loop and we will iterate through the accounts vector so for int equals to 0 i less than accounts dot size i plus plus so inside this for loop we'll write another for loop so let's write here for 
int j equals to 0 j less than accounts accounts of i accounts of i dot size so this for loop is for the inner vector that is this vector okay that is the outer for loop is for iterating this first customer then the second customer and then this third customer and if we go to the first customer then we will check their accounts then we will check their accounts using this inner for loop so inner for loop will check the each customer balance okay so next here will be j plus plus and here we will store their balance that is 1 and 5 will be stored so to store the balance we have to store the balance into a variable suppose the name of the variable is temp okay and its initial value is 0 so temp will be temp plus accounts of i j so why accounts of i j so i is for first customer the iterator will come to this first customer and j for the number of accounts this will be 0 0 then 0 1 so 0 0 is 1 so 1 will be stored into this temp and then 0 1 so 0 1 is 5 so 1 plus 5 that is 6 okay so in the temp there will be 6 for the first customer so similarly it will check for the second customer and for the third customer and after calculating the amount of every customer we will store the maximum amount so to store the maximum amount we will use this max function so max of temp and a result so which will be maximum that will be stored into the result okay and finally we'll go outside of this outer for loop and we'll return a result from here so result will be an integer so for that here the return type is integer so finally it will print the integer output okay so let's run this program okay there is an error in line number three okay spelling mistake vector so let's run this again and our output is 10 which is perfect output okay so in this way you can solve this problem and this is also important problem so you can check this program by giving another inputs and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends and if you have any question or queries then please comment below so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care